What a joy for us to be in your life. Let me just say this to you. God has brought us together in a divine appointment to take care of some disappointments in your past. God is about to set you up for the greatest move of God that you've ever experienced. We're sensing this. We're seeing it happen. Lives are being forever changed. The Holy Spirit is about to rewrite your story. God has something so big, so powerful that he's about to do in your life. You didn't just happen to tune in. This is a God moment. This is a moment that God designed. God called us together by his Holy Spirit. When God created you, he created you for this moment to break you free from the chains yes. of your past, yes. to set you into a freedom so you can enjoy yes. the purpose, you, the plans, and the dimensions of God. Yes. I know in my heart, when God created you, when he breathed into your life, life came into your being, you came into the kingdom of God, things yes. are being set in order for you to be blessed now and into eternity. I'm a firm believer that destiny moments change my life. Destiny moments change your future. And that's what we're in right now. This is a God moment. God's going to give you an, an anointing to reframe your life. You don't like the way it is. You're pressed with the things you're going through. Hang on, God's got a plan, and it's about to look good in your life. And Dee and I are just so excited about being there. Amen, amen. It's an exciting time. I believe with all my heart that as you listen and obey, God's going to bring a switch into your life. Things are going to shift that's going to cause things to begin to be blessed. A scripture that God really put in mine and Dee's heart as we were praying, asking God for direction for you. We're not here for us. We have come, joined hands with this ministry that we might help you fulfill the purpose of God. And so God took us in the Passion Translation. Now, Dee and I read this a lot for our private devotions and feeding ourselves. But when I came across this one in the Passion Translation, Ephesians 3.20, I want you to listen to it. Have you got it done? I do. Well, won't you read it? Sure. It says, never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this. He will achieve infinitely more Mm. than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream. I love that. Our most unbelievable dream and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all. Hallelujah. For his miraculous power constantly energizes you. Is that strong? Oof. That's just powerful. That just set our hearts on fire for you. And I I just want to take a minute, kind of break it down. Then we're going to give you four or five points to just help you to make this transition. God is going to transition you. It's your transition time right now. Amen. We can no longer procrastinate. We can't put it off. This moment, God designed for you to step up to another level for you to be elevated to another flow. Yeah. And so I want you to listen carefully. But the opening statement by the Apostle Paul, never doubt. See, I'm convinced it, that faith, trust, confidence in God, yeah. in his word is so important. So he starts it off, never doubt God's, not your ability, God's ability, God's mighty power to work in you. So Dee and I are not here saying, look what we've done. We're saying, look what the Lord has done as he has worked through our lives, causing transition to happen. Dee and I had to make that choice. And you know, babe, right at the beginning, I just, um, 
I believe that there's, we don't just transition one time. Right. Life is a multiplicity of, of transitions. Yes. And can we miss God in those transitions? Absolutely. Have we missed God in yes, some transitions? Have. Absolutely. But I just feel like it's important at the beginning of the program just to, to tell someone that don't allow condemnation right. to, to keep you from hearing what we're saying. Because someone you're listening and you've like already shut down because only because the enemy's telling you, you've missed your transition moment and Speak. there will not be Speak. another transition moment. But this is your time to transition now. You've got to shake off that condemnation, forget about it. God doesn't even remember it e anymore because you've surrendered it and submitted right. it to Him. That's right. So you need to just shake off that condemnation right at the beginning of this program so that you can hear what we have to say so that you will not miss this transition moment. See, I, I think the enemy is so good at heaping on us condemnation, Absolutely. fear, yes. doubt, yes. because of something in our past. Yeah. And God's saying your past is not deciding yeah. your future. Yeah. Now, I want you to hang on that a moment. Your past has nothing to do with where God's about to take right. you. Right. And God has given you his power. This is what we're yeah. saying to you. God's in giving you his ability that you might be able to conquer insecurities, mm -hmm. to challenge the fear and break through. I never wait till I don't have a fear to make a move for God. I transition in my life in spite of fear because it's always easy to get caught up in fear and insecurities and you can name it. But God's saying to you today, this is a God moment where we're connected. We're, Dee and I are going to put our faith with you, and we're going to see God do what you were created to do. This is not by chance. So many times we, we, we kind of think, well, it's just a, uh, an accident. I'm listening to this program. I don't believe in God's no. great economy. No. There's an accident. He orders your steps. Right. He orchestrates your steps. He leads you in the right direction. Here's one thing I want to put on the screen. You're moving into a season of greater. Yes, yes. I'm going to say that again. Right now, in this moment, you say, Coy, this moment, right now, Amen. you are moving into a season of greater. Your past mm. is not greater than your future. No matter how wonderful your past may have seemed to be, and maybe it was, God has sent us in your life to tell you your future yes. is so much brighter. Right. Your future is so much greater than your past. Psalm 102, verse 13, God says this, This is a set time in your life for increased favor. Amen. It's a set time. It's a moment. Praise when I look God. around at what God's doing right Thank now, you, and with apostolic eyes who see beyond the norm, see beyond the circumstances, traveling around, D and I ministering to people almost every day of our life, we're ministering to people. And the moment that the scales fall off of their eyes and they begin to see what's ahead of them mm -hmm. is so much greater than their past, then suddenly they come alive. Things begin to change in their life. So I want you to know God has set us together so that you can break all the boundaries that small thinking, negative people who remind you of where you came from and try to box you in. God's saying to you today by the Holy Spirit, this is your time to break out, break forth, break the boundaries. God is about to do for you mm -hmm. what is unexplainable. Yeah. You're not going to be able to explain it in the natural, how this happened and that happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dee and I have, we have people who watch this program all over the nation, all over the world, 
And, and so we're always saying to them, when you sit down to watch the program with us, have your pen and paper ready. Uh, one of our partners let me know yesterday through social media, sent me a direct message that every week he sits down with his pencil and his pad and he begins to write down what the Holy Spirit is speaking through D and through my life into your life. And now his whole life is on an acceleration pace. When we first connected with him, he was discouraged. He was despondent, wonderful man, but had had this door closed and that door closed and another door closed. And when he started supporting us and putting seed into our ministry to carry out the, the mission that God's assigned us to, we begin to come in agreement with him. Well, he had two miracles happen just yesterday. Just yesterday. Major, major miracles. And so I want to tell you, you're connected through our lives to the power of God so God can do the unusual. I believe with all my heart, we're anointed to help people exceed their past limitations. Right, right. You know, babe, a little bit earlier you were saying how that things were going to happen that they couldn't even explain, right. just That's unexplainable. Right. And, you know, I just think that it's going to be, it, there's going to be things happen that you don't even see coming. Yeah. But God is going to surprise you with sudden things because you've been faithful mm -hmm. through the transition through the process. So as you're moving into this new season of greater, God is going to honor the faithfulness to, to walk so through that. the process. See, I believe there is an anointing, a fresh outpouring, honey, of the Holy Spirit that is coming over people's lives. Even right now, you're beginning to sense the, the darkness breaking. Because I'm looking at somebody, you got like a dark cloud hanging over your life. Well, I'm here to announce to you, the word is light. Yes. And the word that yes. D and I are speaking yes. is going to penetrate that darkness. Thank you, Father. Break it off of your life. God, I feel the anointing of God. This is a moment where God's going to deliver you from an oppressive spirit that has endeavored to stop you endeavored to keep you from all that God planned for your life. I'm, I'm telling you, according to Psalm 115, verse 14, God's plan for you is more. More for you, more for your children, more for your grandchildren, more for your great-grandchildren. This is a moment. Don't, don't ignore the very fact that God brought us together and by his spirit is giving a word to you that is penetrating your life. That's going to cause you to move forward in spite of circumstances, situations. God is still a miracle worker. D and I see it in our partners' lives, our friends' lives, over and over again. The second thing I want to get on the screen Thank is Lord. never. That's a key word. Never allow doubt and fear to stop you. Amen. Never allow doubt or fear to paralyze you, to stop you from achieving the plans of God. I have so many times tapped into a miracle when I only took a little tiny step. Right. Just a tiny step. Right. Of moving. Yeah in the right direction. Yeah. And suddenly, that little step of faith began to fuel the hope that I had in my right. heart that was almost right. gone out. Suddenly, my hope is blazing inside me. There is a uh, something that says opposition has to bow because of the anointing, the faith, the hope of God that's in my heart. So I just want to tell you, I don't care what the doctor said. Right. I don't even care what the lawyer said, the banker said. I don't care what your best friend said. Yeah. God has big plans yeah. for you. Yeah. Something unusual is about to happen. We have to remember that when fear walks in, faith walks out because yep. the two cannot cohabitate. 
you know, and I like to say when, when fear comes knocking at your door, send faith to answer it. Yep. Because it will dispel all fear. Yep. That's the enemy's worst tactic, I think, is just trying to get us to live in a state of fear. Because like you said, fear paralyzes you. It immobilizes you from being able to, to walk forward. See, I used to think pressure was bad. Right. The longer I serve the Lord, help God's people, I look at pressure as good. Mm -hmm. Pressure means God is fixing to yeah. catapult us. Absolutely. I believe that, that pressure causes you to change behaviors. When you're under pressure, a diamond is made by heat right. and pressure. Right. That sparkling diamond is made by heat and pressure. So the fiery trial and the pressure you're under is going to create in your life a whole new dimension. When a jeweler looks at diamonds, they look at the dimensions. God has plans for you, and the pressure that you're feeling is not to stop you. Right. The pressure that you're feeling is about to elevate you to a whole new level. And I can testify some of my greatest pressures. Yeah catapulted me into a whole new level with God. Yeah. It's, it's like that uh, example of you take a ball and you push it down yes. in the pool. Perfect. You know, as far as you can, when you let go of that, that ball is going to come up out of that water and it's yes. going to go up into the skies. You know, so if we can just withstand, and we can, we, we can will. do all things through Christ who strengthens us, but as we withstand that pressure, the harder it gets, the deeper we're pushed down, the greater our comeback's going to be. God, we live that. Yes, sir. <laughs> we that. We can testify. We can testify. We've got the scars to prove it, that God will use yeah. pressure to bless you. Right. God will use that pressure to launch you. God will use that pressure to take you to another yes. level in the kingdom. And let me just tell you something. You shall overcome the tactics, the schemes yes. that hell is trying Amen. to use, putting fear into your life, causing you to doubt your identity, Amen. causing you to question who you are in Christ. God connected us. Boy, I feel that so powerful yes. right now. God connected us. This is a day that God designed for you yes. to enter into a whole new yeah. level. Yeah. You watch over the next 12 weeks. Just mark it on your calendar. God's starting something right now Amen. by your actions. Small steps of faith yes. are going to start a creative miracle in your Amen. life. And you, yep. you keep fighting the good fight of right. faith because you're going to overcome. That's right. That's don't, right. You, don't you dare quit. Because Satan knows the only way he can win is to bring fear, frustration, doubts into your life. But we've come to join your hands and say, oh, no, we are going to triumph. Yep. We're going to trust God, and we're going to see God do great things. The and third, we, let, let me say, and yep. when you begin to think that you can't, all you have to do is remember that God can. That's it. God can. God can. If God's called you to do it, then it's on him to help you finish it. God can. I believe that. The third little sentence I want them to put on the screen is, God is at work in you. Yes. God's at work in you. you got to understand your miracle starts on the inside, right. comes to the outside. Right. God's already working in here. And he's about to change everything around you. He's already working in here, and your kids are about to get Amen. right. Amen. He's working in here, your sick body's about to get healed. He's working in here, and your finances are going to come Praise in God. line. He's working in here, and that fear is going to turn to Thank faith you, because we're feeding yes. your faith. Spend time with the Word. Spend time every day. Take your Word into your life. Feed the person inside. See, you were designed by God 
that you could excel in this life by faith. Faith is the key. And I'm just going to tell you, the odds that seem to be against you, the word coming out of mine and these mouth is shifting the odds in your favor. God is going to turn it in your favor. I've seen it over God. and over and over. God right now is releasing, releasing a supernatural into your life. You, and God has this moment in mind for your life. Praise you got to learn to live, D says at all time, inside out. Absolutely, absolutely. And babe, I'm just a firm believer that how we handle situations that are presented to us absolutely are going to determine if we're able to go through the transition. Yes. yes. I mean, they make or break us yes. seriously. You know, but the thing is, if I just keep going back to this, if you're broken through the transition, man, shake it off. Don't let condemnation keep That's you right. there. Speak that. Don't let it keep you there. The enemy wants you to stop. And if you stop, then you've, they've, they've won. That's right. So you've got to shake that thing off. If that's you and you feel like you're just stuck or you feel like, you know what? I have just messed up too bad to do, to do well anymore. You got to shake that thing off and, and go after it. See, you look at D and I and think, well, they never made a mistake. Oh yeah, we have. We got the scars to prove it. And we've but missed we, it. And we, there's times that we just flat out missed it. But we didn't quit. That's the reason we're here today encouraging you because we never quit. The fourth thing I want to put on the screen. Just one second. Let me just say something. Do you think that God didn't know you were going to miss it? That's right. Do you think God didn't know the things that we were going to miss? That's right. Nothing takes him by surprise. He knows all things. So if, if, if you're thinking, you know what, God, I've just, I've just messed up too bad. He already knew it was going to happen. Yes, he did. And he's already made a way of escape for you. So step into it. When he chose you, he knows all things. Absolutely. He knows what you're going to go through. He knows how you're going to have to transition. He understands setbacks. But I'm learning over and over dealing with God's precious people. A setback really can become a setup yeah. for greater things Absolutely. in your life. Absolutely. The fourth thing I want to put on the screen is God will give you more Amen. than you request. Yes. God will give you more than you request. And that's what he was saying here in Ephesians 3.20. Mm -hmm. He said he's going to give you a dream yep. that is unbelievable. Yep. Yep. You remember several months ago when the Lord began, he just said to me, he said, I am setting you up for a more than you can imagine yep. blessing. Yep. I mean, something our eyes haven't seen, our ears haven't heard, our hearts can't even comprehend right. all that God is wanting to do for us. And as we walk into this transition, I believe our steps of obedience and our steps of faith, it, it's just going to position us and line us up to be a conduit of God's blessing and favor and just pour it into us Amen. because he can trust us. See, I believe that I have such a confidence and trust that God orchestrates that. Absolutely. I know yes. in my knower, no matter where you're watching this program, God in his sovereignty orchestrated our lives together. In the decades I've served God, yes. I've seen God too many times orchestrate things to cause yeah. the limits to be broken, to cause restrictions to be removed, and increase to come into the lives. God has his hand on your life. Amen. Don't you doubt yes, he does. that the hand yes, of he God, does. the hand of God, you have Hallelujah. the fingerprints of God mm -hmm. all over your life. Yeah. God created you. God designed you. And you've got to believe that. Lock into that and know that when God designed D and I, connected us, he had you in mind. Scripture says, I believe it's in Isaiah, it says that we're tattooed 
in the palm of his hands. And who can take us out? <laughs> oh. The fifth thing I want to put on the screen is God will exceed your biggest dream. If I've learned anything in the kingdom of God, working with God's people, God shall Amen. exceed your biggest dream. Thank you. you think that dream is so big, God's about to show up, and he will exceed your biggest dream. Amen. I want you to lock that in your spirit. New opportunities are going to open to you. New doors Praise are going to swing open to you. This is a moment. I just want to. I just want to bless you prophetically. I just yeah. feel the prophetic mantle. Yeah. And I just want to tell you something. The transition that you're in right now is loaded with great rewards. Yes. Right in the midst of your actions of radical faith, where you don't even feel it, you're just moving because you know you got to move. God's going to give you a major upgrade, yeah. says the Lord, yeah. in your life. Yeah. Angels have heard you speak the word, and now heaven is responding to what come out of their yes. mouth. And babe, it is the will of God for us as his children to dwell and live yes. in a wealthy place. Yes. A wealthy place. Yes. Psalm says, 66, verse 12, a wealthy place. Praise God. Now, I just want to tell you, in the last Thank few you, seconds Lord. we got together, Thank you, Lord. the wind of God is coming under your wings, and you shall soar, says the Lord. Praise God. Your days of struggle are ending. Yes. Your days of delay are over. This is a moment that God prepared yes. for you. And the waves that were sent to take you out, will be the very Speak waves that you ride into your best Thank days. You, your ladder will be greater, says the Spirit of the Lord. Pray for the people. Father, we just thank you for this time. I pray, Lord, that you take each and every word thank that has you, been Father. spoken, and I thank you that your Holy Spirit has just breathed upon it. We thank you for each and every listener. I thank you, Father, that you are taking them into their wealthy place, and God, that they will transition into their best days ever, that their latter will be greater, and we give you praise for it in your precious name. Amen. Amen. We love you. We expect to see you and hear from you. Until we get the joy of seeing you again, God bless you. Amen.